Hey guys, welcome back to the Judo Highlights. So, starting off with a nice Tayotoshi here. Really sensational Tayotoshi if you ask me. I mean, come on, they're so well done, right? And just a little note about upcoming videos. So, uh, this, this video is on 81, but uh, the next video will be 90, under 100, and plus 100, all in one video. We've got the... The master's coming up in Israel, so I need to get on to making videos about that. Here's Sasaki, a nice transition into the Newaza. And we'll have a look at Jalo after this, who took out Sasaki in the in the bronze medal contest. So this is Jalo from France. A couple of a couple of Vipons, this one. I mean just a nice I guess you gotta call it Sasai even though there was no leg. And here's the throw against Sasaki. I really, I really like this one. It's quite interesting. So it's hard to see from the camera angle, but there's a bit of like impact. Kind of Jalo's shoulder hits Sasaki right here on the head, and I, I guess it kind of dazed him. And then he jumped in there beautifully. But I mean, Sasaki, he was injured going into that match, so I would like to see it again. But Jalo, Jalo from France, someone I'm definitely paying attention to. Him. And another French guy at under 100s, Dicey. So I've been a bit critical of the French team uh, recently, but there's a couple of guys on my radar. Sasaki again, and I mean th this Tomoe Nage, only a Wazari, but watch what he does with the arm that he locks up. It's kind of hard to explain, but he, he's getting, he's getting, he's trying to get a, a quick tap here, but doesn't get it. Interesting approach. I mean, he didn't have a good enough position, so he's just trying to get a quick tap by kind of like, what's the word? Jolting, jolting at the at the elbow. And here's probably one of the greatest epons of the tournament. This Uchimata was sensational. I mean, come on, Fujiwara now, Fujiwara. I mean, he's. He's running uphill to try and catch Nagase before Paris. Nice double sleeve, Tayotoshi there. And this, you don't see this often from Fujiwara, but a really nice Ippon Seoinage. I like that leg on the outside. I guess you have to call it a Seoyotoshi because of that, because of that leg. Kohara now who won the thing. And watch this choke, this, this ends up being a choke. I thought it would just be Osai Komi, but that's a really tight choke. I wish we could have seen the other side of it. This is the score against Fujiwara, a nice Osokogari. Almost enough for Ippon. Fujiwara does well to barely hang on. And this is the score against Nagase, a nice counter. Here's the Sumi Gaishi, and he'll be happy about that because that means they have to give him other opportunities now. They have to give him an opportunity on the international scene at some point. Okay. Like I say, and his Sumigaishi, I mean, it's not as good as Kohara's. I don't see, I, I, this is probably the first time I've ever seen Nagase do this. I mean, gets a score, why not? He also tried a Kataguruma, which was interesting. And this is more trademark Nagase, right? That kind of Ochigari, Uchimata in between that he likes to do. And Nagase, I mean, he looked good on the day. He had Ippons, much better than recent tournaments. Recently, just not throwing a lot of Shidos, but um, this is the Nagase of old, right? And then everyone wanted to see this. Him getting through Sasaki, but there was an injury slightly before this, so you never know. I'd like to see it again. So as he goes for the back, just turns in there with the Uchimata. This is Lee. And watch the drive. Off the knees. A lot of people would have given up or just been squished there. But yeah, it's unfortunate for Lee. He went out after this match. But hopefully we'll see him again soon. 
still young, and he's got great throwing ability. And this last one, nice Tomoinage into a Juji. Bad luck, Ben. Next time, eh? Anyway, guys, peace out. Next video will be 90, under 100, and plus 100. So I'll see you then. Laters.